Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to share with you 11 ways of how you can take advantage of your rotations while working in the hospital or pre-hospital setting. So the reason why I'm making this video is based on a video that I made recently where I talk about how do we feel about students. Check this video out right here, right? And this is just a follow up to that video. And here are 11 ways how I can, my advice to paramedic students, EMT students, nursing students, medical students, all types of students that are entering the healthcare field. This is my advice to you on how you can take advantage, complete advantage of this learning opportunity. Obviously, number one is introduce yourself. A lot of times people come in and they don't introduce themselves. They're not polite. They're not friendly. So definitely introduce yourself. Be on time is number two. And number three, be in uniform, right? So part of your uniform is your tools. If you're coming into a rotation and you don't have a pen light, if you don't have your shears, if you don't have the tools to the trade of where you're going, you're not in uniform, even if you're wearing the uniform, if that makes sense. So come in uniform, right? Number four, Review your protocols, the algorithms, the guidelines that you use to determine how to proceed when you're confronted with a certain type of patient. So if you're a EMT and you are facing a trauma call, you should be familiar with what to do on that trauma call, especially as a student, right? So you won't be like a deer stuck looking at the headlight as the hell as the as the car is approaching like what do i do now you know what i mean you have to be familiar with what you're supposed to be doing and when and how to do it number six stay within your scope of practice so for example this is especially important for paramedic students if you are cleared to do ivs then that's now within your scope of practice so when it comes time for you to do an IV, offer to do it. If you're not clear to do an IV, you're not clear to do a cardioversion, then obviously that's not the time for you to put yourself out there and put yourself available to do that. So stay within your scope of practice. When you don't know what to do, check out this video, what to do when you don't know what to do, right? And one of the parts is stay within your scope of practice, right? Number seven ask prudent questions so you finish a call and then you sit back in, in your phone and you start reading memes and laughing about memes and watching all the videos on instagram but we just had a cardiac arrest why aren't you asking questions about that always ask questions prudent questions at that number eight take notes a lot of times the things that we do the things that happen are easily forgotten so take notes is an advice that I could give you. Number nine, be a team player. Be a team player with the ambulance crew that you're with. Be a team player with the nurses. Be a team player with the doctors. Just be a lovable person, right? Number 10, be quiet. That's another thing because sometimes we have students that all they do is talk. All they do is talk on the phone. All they do is bring up conversations that are unnecessary. So... Obviously, you have to be social, but please know the fine line between talking too much or not talking enough, right? And last but not least, don't be needy. I've had paramedic students where they're like, oh, listen, um, I only eat organic food, and the organic food that I eat is at this location, and it's like, if I don't eat at that location, you know, it's like, like bro, you're a visitor, all right? We're here to accommodate you. We're here to make you feel comfortable, but at the same time, you have to find the balance between reaching your necessities and also not hindering on another person's daily activities. All right, guys, those are 11 ways of how you can take advantage of your rotations. I hope this helps. Peace.